Hello. I'm just going to explain to you uh, how to write an auto with script. I've written a basic random number generator, as you can see in the picture. Line one. I'll explain every line and what it means. But line one, basically, that's just a description. It's not in it. The semicolon means you can write whatever you want there, and it doesn't go on the script, won't cause any errors. Right. Yeah, the first thing with auto -web, if you write something wrong, if you don't put a bracket somewhere, if you don't put a quotation mark or a comma, it'll just halt and it won't run. I have an error. Okay. So keep that in mind. Everything written there works. So, line two. You need this line when you want to write a GUI. When you want a window. If you just want to write something in the background for to write to a file or whatever, you don't need a GUI. But for this, you do. Because it's got a, an input and a button. Okay, so line four. That's the GUI, all right? It's named number generator. That's what's shown at the top of the window. And it's 200 wide by 48 high. That's in pixels, so it's small. All right, line five, line six. Output is the variable, all right? And this uh, GUI CTRL create input control, it's a control. So I've got an input and a button. Um, there's nothing in the input, but the button has text, and on the button is written roll. Now the input is four pixels from the top, four pixels from the left, that's when it starts, and it's 192 pixels wide by 20 pixels high. And same with the button, but the button's actually placed uh, 20 more pixels lower than the input. Simple, right? Uh, the variable is different. It's, it's named button. And I'll explain why you need those variables. Uh, but let's go to line 8. GUI set state. SW show. You need, you need to put this line in every time you want to show any GUI. Otherwise, it'll run in the background and you'll never get to see it. But it's a good thing if you want to hide them or show them, you move them around, or whatever. Anyway, while 1 and line 19, while end. That's the abbreviation, that's how it's written. Um, so basically that that while loop, it's a loop, it just continually loops while the program's running unless you exit and then close everything. Uh, line 11 is the message. GUI get message. That's how it's written. Um, so every time you click a button, or if you click on a control, then you can get the message sent to the application to say that somebody's clicked there, you know, then you can do what you want. And this is perfect in the case of a button. So every time I click the button, I want to set the data in the input section, well it's named output here, and I want that data to be a random number from 1 to 9. Okay, I could change that to 1 to 999 or whatever, whatever number I wanted. Just a random number in there. But in this case, 1 to 9. So every time I click button, generate a random number from 1 to 9 and then put it in the output box above the button. Okay, and that's it. Simple. The only other thing is line 15, 16, 17. You need that in every GUI. Because if you hit the X button, nothing will happen unless you've got line 15, 16, and 17. Then that covers you. It's done. No worries. That's it.